Hi guys, today we're going to talk about using your Chromebook and the Chrome OS. I'm going to share my screen with you and we will get started. Okay guys, when you log into your Chromebooks, this is the page you will come to. This is your desktop view. As you can notice, there are no icons on the desktop. All your icons are found in this tray down here. That is the way the Chrome OS works. You will not be placing any icons on the desktop. Everything will be found within these apps and this app page right here. Alright guys, let me take you to the Chrome web browser real quick and let me talk about some of the differences between a Chromebook and a regular laptop. The most notice noticeable uh, difference is the keyboard. As you notice, this right here is a picture of a Chromebook keyboard. There is no function buttons at the top. Uh, you won't find any on a Chromebook. You don't need those function buttons. Uh, these buttons right here, the escape buttons, your typical escape button will get you out of a program. These buttons are like your uh, surfing uh, uh, buttons. This will t take you to a page back. This will take you to a page forward. This is your refresh button. So if I hit this button right here, it's going to take me back a page. Uh, if I hit the other one, it will take me forward to the page we were on. This page right here, this icon will refresh the page. Uh, this button right here will maximize the view, will make it full screen. Hit it again and bring back our toolbars. Basically, they'll make all the toolbars disappear and the address bar. Uh, this button right here is our page view. Uh, I got two different pages open, and I can go back and forth between them. Alright guys, right here is your uh, dimmer and brighten buttons. These are your volume controls, the mute, volume down, volume up, and here's the power button. The rest of the uh, buttons you know, are basically the same if you find on the keyboard. Now there is another big difference between a laptop and a Chromebook. Uh, as you notice, this is just a solid mouse pad, and if I want to right click, I will have to come to the lower right hand corner and gently tap with two fingers on that corner and that will bring up my right click options. That's a big difference between that of the Chromebook and other laptops. Uh, guys, I'm going to minimize. Uh, let's talk about the apps real quick. You know, Chrome OS uses apps. That's how you find everything. You know, you're not going to have files, you know, store stuff. You're going to be using Google Drive. You know, it's one of the apps. Uh, this tray down here just has some of the apps that I have added. And I will show you how to add and unpin apps here in a little bit. Uh, to find all of your apps, you need to go to the lower left hand corner and find this uh, icon. Uh, different brands of Chromebooks, it might be a little different uh, icon for this launcher. It may be uh, a group of boxes, but right here is the area where you're going to find your app launcher. So click it. Here's some of the apps I use a lot. There's the Google search, and here's all of my apps. Uh, you know, I've added some of these. It comes uh, standard with some. You know, the Chrome uh, web browser is going to be there. The web store will be there. The Google search, Google Drive, the Gmail, and probably the YouTube will be there. You know, by default. The rest of these are the ones I have added for myself. Uh, in order to add an app, guys, you have to go to the web store, the Chrome web store. So let's go ahead and let's go find this app and add it. Ah, the most important thing, guys, uh, in order to use the web store and to use these apps, you have to be logged in with a Google account. All right, this I'm going to show you real quick how to sign into a, to your Google account. The easiest way is to go to google.com and up here in the upper right hand corner will be a blue sign in box. You'll click it and you will sign in. Uh -huh. So I'm signed in and I want to go look for an app. If you notice down here with categories, I'm going to click this drop down menu and go to education. The, all these are educational apps. There are tons of them and they're all for free. So let's find a good one. Let's do Hood of Math. Just click on it. Add to Chrome. And notice once I hit Add, what happens? In my apps, it downloads and puts it in my apps. 
So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go back to my app launcher, click on it, and go to all apps. And there's my hood of math. It's already been added for me, and it's ready to go. All right. To say I don't want it anymore. Say I want to get rid of it. All right. I'm going to right click. If you remember, it's going to the mouse pad, lower right hand corner, and gently double tap him with two fingers, or sorry, tap him with two fingers. And I'm going to remove from Chrome. All right. Uh, say there is an app that I want to pin to this tray right here. You go through the same steps. Lower right hand corner with two fingers gently tap. And I'm going to pin it to the shelf. If you notice, once I do that, it appears here in the shelf. Uh, say I don't want it in the shelf anymore. Same process. Now I'm just going to unpin it. Alright guys, I'm going to talk to you real shortly about some of the features of uh, the Chrome web browser. You know, most of you probably are pretty you know used to using Chrome by now. If not, this you know will be a little short tutorial. Right here's your address bar. It also serves as a search bar for Google. So let's just type George Washington up here. All right, it's going to automatically bring a Google search of George Washington. All right. How do you? A lot of people ask, how do you find the tools and settings in Chrome? All right. The settings menu is here with these three bars. This is where all your Google Chrome controls are found. You know, here are your Windows uh, uh, controls, page controls, and here's some. Of your, and here's your settings. That's how you access the web browser. All right. Here's your history button. You know, uh, you want to clear your history, you clear your cache, do you know, a few cookie issues. Here's a place you'll do it. And here's the place where you download. You download something, and for some reason you can't find it. You go to your downloads, and you can find it. And guys, you know that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, this little tray over here, you know, has your time. If you click on it, if you click on anywhere in the tray, this little menu is going to pop up. It just shows. Where you're signed in, it shows whether or not you're connected to Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth. Uh, right here is the volume control, and here's another way you can get to settings. You can come down here, click on this tray, go to settings. You know, either way. You know, if you want to restart, if you want to power off down here, lock your screen. There's your calendar. Now this uh, I'm charging right now, but here's where you, your battery life will be displayed. And guys, that is pretty much it. You know, that's the that's a Chromebook in the Chrome OS uh, in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. And you guys have a great day.